Hello and welcome to Galactic Civilizations 4 Supernova. Um, decided to start a new series. Haven't played this game yet, but I was a big fan of Galciv 2. Uh, played that quite a bit, did some modding back then. Uh, and, uh, you know, picked this up, thought I'd give it a shot. Let's go ahead and make a new game. For the sake of time, I did already create a custom uh, civilization. So we're, we are going to go full totalitarianism, warrior, cybernetic warrior, uh, human. I, I don't think this actually generates an AI portrait. I think it pulls from a a pool of AI portraits that they've already generated, but I could be wrong. Uh, Galaxy, we're going to do everything on default, except I'm going to go to medium. Uh, just to keep it a little bit interesting. And then everybody else can stay whoever they are. Let's go ahead and get started. I will have to mess with the volume settings a little bit. Um, I'm right now I have it turned down quite a bit, but we'll see how it goes. I do have the tutorials on, um, just because I have not played this version of Gelsiv at all yet. I've only played the original one, so. Let's go ahead and scroll out, take a look at what this looks like. Looks like we're really close to the center of the galaxy. Looks like this is a WASD kind of game. All right, what do we got over here? I'm going to try to zoom out, although I do really enjoy looking at the uh, graphics. It does look really nice. Uh, artifact. Okay, so flagship can be used to examine a artifact. as gateway, the probe. All right, let's take a look at what we got going on here. This is, which one's the flagship? I assume it's this guy. I feel like it should be this. Okay, maybe not. Ah, this guy. I did turn fast movement on, so we'll have to see how that goes. I didn't want it taking a bunch of time just uh, buzzing around the galaxy, so. And we set you on automated. All right, so you're just gonna go out there and explore. You wanna build a new colony ship. All right, so this is a colony ship. Let's go ahead, do that up, get that ready to go. Executive order. So this is a new feature. I don't know anything about it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Draft colonist. We'll give a free colony ship. Reveals area of the map. I feel like that's, hmm. A gamble that's not like a guaranteed thing because it could be garbage and then you've just wasted it so uh, this will give us more money but it will lower approval for a short period of time and then this will make them go faster than normal well of all of those I think colony ship is probably the way to go I don't know what that spent per se but all right, military is ready. I'm guessing this planet is colonizable or quality, but it is colonizable. Uh, this is the colony ship. Probably don't want to just send that randomly, you know, ev anywhere. Go ahead and take a look at the research. Huh. Okay, so some of them will be discounted because they're already inspired. So which one you're recommending we research this? Seems to make sense to me. Go ahead and do it. And that gives a research bonus. So any one of these gives a research bonus. And it's only gonna take one month. Can't complain about that. I think I made all my moves. Uh, is there anything else I could look at? I could go to the planet. I guess let's go see if there's anything we could build there. So we have to place these. I'm guessing there's going to be proximity benefits somewhere. Although this, eh, I'm almost afraid to do that. All right, we'll put that there. Industrial center. You don't really matter. What is this? Trade resource. That is uh, approval. So are these like weights and tells you what you should build there? Losing one citizen a month. I wonder if that's because we're building a colony. 
All right, that is approval. That is approval. That's plus one to manufacturing. I suppose if we put it there, at least that'll get an adjacency for some of these. Um. Okay. So where's our actual building queue? Does it say? I'm sure I'm overlooking it, but I just have no idea where. Oh, down here. Okay. So it's doing this first, then this, then that. Probably should get this done first, though. It prob probably makes more sense. This will have two adjacents that I can use and three if I don't care about this uh, science. If I go here, it'll have three, but then there's some adjacency stuff going on there. I don't want to butt up against the science because I think I want to actually use this for science. Tricky. Um, I guess we'll go here. Let's move that up front. Industrial is probably better just because it's... Well, well, we'll do this first and then industrial center. Now you like to trade, so maybe we'll go there. All right, let's see what that yields. Let's go ahead and hit play, move on to the next turn. All right, so we got this. Unlocks the civilization screen, allows to assign policies. Here's a new tech. Uh, I assume, I mean, this would be good, but research districts are probably better. So let's go ahead and move forward. No, I don't want to abandon it. I want you to survey it. All right, I feel like there's something over here, so we'll move in this direction. I could colonize this, but it's a poor quality planet. I really don't want to do that yet. Okay, so these are the politics screen. Um, that increases growth at the cost of approval. My approval is 68% right now. Uh, influence and income. I mean, these games are all about population. I felt like that number changed when I did that. Do I even care right now about taxes? Yeah, let's actually lower the tax rate, make people happier, because that increases the production there. All right, somebody's buzzing over here already. Nothing, uh, nothing super great over there. Looks like we have a lot of stuff in our immediate area. How long does it take for us to uh, six months? Really? Holy cow. And then there's another anomaly over there. We got to scan. Uh, there's an event. I get culture points. Collectivism, progressivism, or nihilism. I mean, I feel like this matches with the theme of the civilization. The graves of my enemies. So maybe we go that route, even though it's not the one I would normally choose if I'm, you know, role playing this kind of game. Uh, you are even worse. So that is unfortunate for sure. Uh, executive orders. I don't know the consequences of doing these things. Uh, do I just get how much control do I get? Oh, I can pick a leader. Okay. Production task. I mean, production feels very valuable. Oh, so your loyalty is not good. Social skills. Okay. You seem pretty happy. Who else can we... We got some money. We might as well buy some. All right, you're a commander. Okay, I guess you'll be the minister of tech, even though you don't like me. Because you do have the highest uh, intelligence rating. I'm guessing color-coded. So you can be the minister of uh, social. And then exploration, I assume, is the purple one. Go ahead and get you in there. All right, so it gives us a little bit of bonuses. A little extra range, a little extra movement, and a little extra approval. So those are all good things. I think we get some approval from you as well. I don't think I need a commander. Although you could be a commander. Is it worth spending the money? I mean, I guess. Can you... Never mind. You can't be it. So we can't spawn this. 
Oh, okay. I just don't have the text I need for that yet. But he'll be a commander at some point in the future. All right, monthly news report. I can't click on recruitment, but that's fine. I don't need to actually recruit anybody. All right, you are idle. Oh, this is a colony ship too. I mean, I guess you're going to go colonize this, even though it's not the ideal place. There's three artifacts right by my home system. Why does it surveying take so long? Uh, totalitarianism, I'm guessing, is what we are looking for. Based on our uh, civilization traits. I have enough culture points. Okay, so we grow culture, which we just selected a bunch of totalitarianism, right? So, cost of traits varies, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this is all depending on how many points we get in this. I have eight, eight culture points to spend. We get an extra 100 control. Okay. So that gave me an extra 100 control. So this is a resource. I get one per turn right now, but I'm guessing I'll get more down the road. And that's what feeds these. So I can do more than one thing. It just costs me. I mean, we could do emergency speed. Might as well do it on the probe, right? And make it go real fast. I don't need you. I don't even need all the ones I have. All right, so what do I want to scan here? Probably somewhere where there's a uh, star systems, right? Dead planets. Well, at least they didn't waste time going up that way. Uh, class 23 amazing planet. Well, excuse me. Precursor world. Uh, yes, please. Party of one. I don't know. I assume that's going to be amazing. Okay, we got our first. Uh, sure. I will pretend like I understand what you're saying. Research district. It's armed shuttles. Improved sensors allow us to detect. So this increases ship range, which could be good. Armed shuttles seems good as well. Although if we just, we have our three planets, I guess we really don't need to worry about that right this second. So that should be fine. We'll be okay. So how long does approval go down? Does approval minus two? How long is it minus two? Forever? However, uh, we'll add that to the list of things to research. I'm not immediately worried about that. Industrial center was completed. Go ahead and take a look at the planet. Guessing now that that's done, everything else will go quicker. Planetary generator. I mean, it's probably a good idea. So that looks like a plus four. Can't really tell. I assume it is. Can I move this somewhere else or am I just out of luck now that I've placed it? Okay, so that's plus 6% and 2%. This is plus 12% and 4%. So yes, this is, this is definitely the better spot to put it. So we will go ahead and put it there. Clear that. Uh, leader cost lower, but I already bought all the leaders I need, so kind of pointless. Okay, so I think we just finished the scan. Choose a new tech first. Space weapon's probably the right move. Although, subspace scanning would be really good. Well, I mean, we are a military civilization, so weapons first seems to fit the bill. All right, um... Surveyed. Temporary boost to the problem solving abilities. Okay. Don't know if I really understand what that means. Five months on that scan. Who is this? Why aren't we exploring with you? Silly me. I didn't realize I had a ship there the whole time. All right, we'll definitely go explore with those. We could always pull them back later on. Okay, that was probably kind of pointless. 
Wait, 10 months remaining? I thought this was two months. Okay. Wait, is there another spot to assign yet? Nope. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, people that are not happy. Your soldier. Uh, you're moderately happy. We did find another planet, it looks like. So, does it matter? I assume social skills are better. All right, let's see what that looks like. Got another new refuge colony ship. Uh, I don't really want to burn that right now. All right, that's class three, four. Hopefully we get a little better than that. I guess let's head over in this general direction, just in case there's something over here that we end up being able to do. All right, shipyard needs a project. I'm thinking we get a builder going. Yeah, we don't have a builder right now, so that'd probably be a good idea. Asteroid mining for sure. Um, unlock the nail ship in your shipyard. I'd rather get the longer term tech benefit, I think. I assume that's plus one for a period of time, or it added plus one to a planet or something. I'm not sure. All right, capital mainframe finished. Go ahead and look on the planet. All right, this is going to increase the maximum capacity. Is class 29. Oh, so I guess that class 23 isn't really um, super special. But this will increase my population. So it's 12 is the cap right now. All right. Go ahead. Keep it going. We're slowly but surely getting there. They're all like poor quality planets. Which I guess makes sense. Oh. I really do have to get that universal translator up and running at some point. That point will be after this tech. Want to get asteroid mining out of the way. Bigger ships. I like that. Although logistics moving quicker is a good thing as well. All right. We need to figure out universal translator at some point. Ah, you know, allow it. I'll allow it. All right. Where's this at? Amazing. Amazing is amazing. Oh, it's outside our range right now. But maybe once we colonize that, it won't be. We have a ton of asteroids. There is a four different asteroid systems here. The good thing is it looks like that gives us some extra production yields. It goes directly to our planet. That's going to bump up production. I really do need to look at approval because that seems to have an impact on um, everything. Uh, take the artifact. Yes, please. All right, I think I want more moves. There's another anomaly right there. I probably should get that, and then I'll automate. I'll automate getting those anomalies up there. So, do we have an actual artifact on our? Uh, no. <laughs> Just randomly teleport me somewhere. I think I will pass. All right, the seeker. Let's head over here and start scanning that. Alright. Uh, 5% hit points to all ships. So, the thing is, I don't know if this is permanent, or if this is just current ships, or like the, the wording isn't exactly super clear. Hmm. I assume it's going to be all ships forever. And that could be valuable. So I will do that because we're a military civilization. Yeah, it's it's listed there. I'm curious if I build a new ship, what that's going to look like. Is this now within range? It is. Go ahead and tag that planet for sure. All right, so you need a governor. Point a governor. Well, that should be you. Governor is this skill. Now, I could buy this person who's not 
particularly loyal to me. Or I could just appoint, because these guys aren't any better, just appoint this person. All right, we'll go ahead and appoint you. All right, so I don't know what the process is for, like, meaningfully growing this colony. All right, so this is probably going to end up getting built. I feel like that should go there. The so core world capital. That's colony unique, so it's only one per colony. Right. Is there a benefit to building it anywhere else? Maybe here in the mountains, and then it gets plus one to everything around it. So these items will get plus one. I'm probably overthinking this, but this does give me free thulium, which is kind of nice. All right, we'll put it over there. That'll be fine. And that does give us a uh, population cap of two. The Thulium Moon lowers the population cap, though. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, we can add a shipyard to the queue. Looks like we're doing okay right now. There is control, so I could use some of that if I want to. Foreign ships in my territory without open borders. What shadiness is going on there? You're heading down here. You'll eventually get there. Doing a little bit of exploring there. Oh, we're, we are colonized. Don't, don't you worry. Right, we are not the first in most things. Right, let's take a look at what we got going on here. I think we could do this, and that'll make people unhappy for a little bit. But it will give us another colony ship right away. Potentially is worth it. Uh, we're unprotected. Nice planet. Governor's loyal. Worst colonization, negative 10. That was from that event earlier. Yeah, I will. Alright, so I'm guessing you have a colonist on you. We could go right there and kind of forward settle this person. Just to block them from being able to go anywhere else with their stuff. Kind of leaning that direction, but we'll see what we discover along the way. I don't know what else is going to be over here. All right, that's extra moves. Extra logistics. Experimental drives is policy. Do alien world studies. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Free integrity disruptor upgrade. Do we get two? How many points do we have here? 18 to spend. These each cost 18. All right, unrest is reduced. And then double ship experience. Well, let's look down these trees a little bit more because I think we got to go one or the other, right? Although it probably reconvenes here. Uh, lower by 20%. Provide more manufacturing. Secret police policy. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see if we can figure out what the policy is. So, okay, so these are just like, we could drag it, we could switch them out as needed. Doesn't look like there's much of a, there's a cost to like do that. Yeah, let's leave it on course colonization for now. Change it off that later on. I, you know, I'll be honest, I really don't know what to do. My gut tells me... This one's probably better. So let's head in this direction. Knowledge hoarding, huh? I mean, I feel like ultimately that's probably better. But I'll go with what it's recommending. No, they got the planet. Crap, I was just going to colonize it. Oh, no. All right, well, I guess we're going to redirect and go here instead. That is cool. White, unfortunate. All right, what's your deal? We are going to automate surveying anomalies. I don't know why you're going down there. There's four anomalies up there. Ancient plans for semi-sentient AI. Okay. Uh, I'll do that one. It seems more longer-term beneficial. It, it knows, even in the fog of war, it knows there's an anomaly over there. A little shady. Um, 
Do I just pick any planet? Or is it a planet I already own? Hmm. I'm not ready to let the AI manage anything yet. Uh, no. Let's unlock that ship. I feel like that's probably a good idea. Wait, is that a ship I could build? Or is that a ship? One of those ships. Oh, we're about to find out. This construct will be done in just a second. Right, you need a project. I don't know what to do. I guess he'll just make money for now? Can't build anything. That has a fair amount of moves. Let's go ahead and build it. Uh, let's take a look at this. This is the combat rating, conquest rating. Huh. All's refined goods to another colony, providing manufacturing. So it pretty much just moves stuff from one to the other. I feel like we always need colony ships, so let's keep doing that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where that goes over time, but for now, you are a builder, so we need to construct a star base with you. I assume a mining star base would be a good idea, given we have two resources over here. Oh, crap. I didn't position it first. No, not where I wanted it. Well, that was a mistake. I actually wanted it over here. I forgot you had to move the ship to the spot where you wanted to end up being first. That was stupid. All right. Well, that's all right. We'll churn out another one. Why is it building that now first? All right, there we go. No, actually, you go before that colony ship. All right, at some point, I got to figure out that. Um, yeah, let's colonize Pippin. No, it's garbage. Hoping to find a, a worthwhile planet to colonize, but really hasn't been any. Go back and colonize this Pegasus, I guess. I'm going to do technology, even though that's not the recommended thing. All right, now it should be smarter. Go here. Looks like that is both resources are within range. Now we can go ahead and build a mining star base. What does this do? Okay. Gives us a little extra Durantium. I can get behind that. All right, what's your deal? Did we build two of them, even though I said I only needed one? Well, we can get rid of you then. Just focus on getting these built. I don't need modules. Right, I don't think I see anything else over here. Ah, there's something over here. All right, let's, I guess let's go over there and build. We could build something over there. Oh, there's antimatter there. Is that more valuable? Well, we're producing antimatter. I don't think we're producing Prometheus, so... Maybe it's rarer, therefore better. Okay. I guess we could build modules while we wait. Uh, you know what? Let's build a couple probes over here. Yeah, what's what's your deal over here? Do you have any uh, asteroid belts? No. All right. You just churn that out for now. Yeah, I don't think we could build anything else at the moment. Population's not growing. I haven't done any research to make that any better. Still two poor quality planets. I don't really want. Wanted this planet. I'm so annoyed that they got that. Oh, and they got this one too. Well, hooey. So you're going to get that. So how do we get it to expand from beyond a colony to something else. Not that any of these are worthy of that. Uh, do sensor power to all ships. That would, seems very useful. Influence to all worlds. 
that's not a bad thing. All right, what's your deal here? Can I even build housing? I don't even know if I could build housing. Uh, Universal Translator could be good. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to get that done because I've been waiting for that. It'll give me 10 culture points. Hey, you're in my system. You know what? I do have this now. Uh, is there anything worthwhile here? Yes, I will do that. All right, we can get another colony ship up and running. Which is less than ideal, but we'll go ahead and just colonize this planet right here. And I think that takes care of every uncolonized planet that we are aware of currently. Okay, you can come over here and build that, and then come over here and build that, hopefully. Or did you already get knocked out? Well, I'm certainly not the most populous civilization. So it looks like I can build some orbital improvements here. Food would be a good idea, given that we are consuming more food than we're making. Can we build more than one of that? Doesn't look like it. Why did that not up that? All right, we're pretty much at a zero. Which I guess is better than a kick in the teeth. No, I don't want to declare war. Well, I want to declare war on them, but I'm not going to declare war on them. Um, let's do this one instead. Space war tactics. It feels like a better choice. All right, can we group these ships together? I feel like we should be able to. All right, we got a little star base built here. Bringing in some Prometheon, which I did not have before, so it'd be good to get that built up if we can. All right, we got a second probe up and running, which is good because then we can explore more of the galaxy a little quicker. At least that is the hope. Oh, there's some artifacts spawning near us. I can't build more flagships, can I? Uh, we can do that. That'll bump our um totalitarianism up what we want to keep moving down the path of anyway all right well i think i'm gonna go ahead and call an episode there um i'm going on like an hour of recording but i think we're off to a decent start it's not ideal i would have really loved to have gotten that planet instead but i unfortunately did not uh i don't see any other places around here in three months i'll be able to do another scan so i'm hoping uh, maybe looking down here, see if there's anything we can colonize, but these guys are heading somewhere over here. It's not going to be good for me, I don't think, but I am kind of stuck in this area. Really not much else for me to do. I'm going to end up having to go to war with these guys and take this place over, but that's for a future episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, see more content in the future, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.